When I first started the channel, I started out with a series of videos called Building the Vega Farm. I had a lot of questions when I first started about what are you going to do in the summertime? Are you going to continue to be able to mine? Well, today marks the hottest day of the year in Texas. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what I see on a daily basis in heat that's this extreme. No AC, just airflow, mining outside with Vega 56 and 64 blower cards. So on the way home, I saw this. 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it's a car thermometer. Maybe it's wrong. But if you look at this, this is what Google says the current temperature is in my area. So my car says it's 109. Google says it's 107. Let's just split the difference and say it's 108. Inside the shed is really where it matters. So as soon as I got home, I went in and took a picture of this old school thermometer. It's old school, but it always seems to be really, really accurate, at least in my situation. Now, what really matters is what it says because that's the environment that the cards are currently in. So you can see there's a couple degree difference between what's outside and what's inside. That also means I have pretty good airflow through the building to be able to keep the temperature within three or four degrees of the ambient temperature outside. If you want to see my fan setup and how I built the shed and why I built it the way that I built it, uh, you can go back and watch the video series. Uh, it's called Building the Vega Farm, uh, and there's 11 parts total. Don't have to watch all the parts, but uh, there at the end, I think it's video 11 and maybe video 10, uh, it actually goes through and talks about the fan setup and the amount of airflow that I'm getting through and, and all that good stuff. So one last thing to note, uh, when I'm not recording videos, I have a 1070 card that I go ahead and let mine through the day when I'm not using the computer. Obviously, when I use the computer, I turn off the mining. Uh, but in an air-conditioned house, uh, this card reaches 62 degrees in the case, 62 degrees Celsius. All right, so let's take a live look at... This is a camera view of pretty much the first two eight card rigs. Uh, it doesn't get the end of the rack. Uh, it's only about half the rack it's showing, but uh, you can see this is a live live stream from uh, a computer I use to manage uh, the network. Um, you can see the cards are running. If you look really carefully, you can tell that this is a live feed. So everything is up and functioning. And then let's look at uh, the middle rig, which generally tends to get the warmest. As you can see, the hottest card, and I'm going to go ahead and say this is generally the hottest card, is this number four uh, 56 card, Vega 56 card. Uh, it generally runs hotter than all of the other cards, uh, and it's 68 to 70 degrees so it's just a few degrees hotter than um, the 1070 card that I have inside the house in the air conditioning let's look at the other temps it looks like they're all pretty well heat saturated right now but 68 69 degrees same thing, yeah, they're all pretty well heat saturated around the same temp. Yeah, 68 to 70 degrees so far. Card number five. Card number six. 69, 70 degrees. And that guy, 
Uh, interesting note about this particular card. I did a video a while back. Uh, I bought the card used broken and I put uh, conductor knot thermal paste on this particular card. So does look like that was a benefit. It's only a couple degree benefit in this kind of heat, but does look like it helped out a lot. So if you have a card that's overheating, generally uh, the first thing that I look at is the thermal paste. Uh, they tend to have pretty bad thermal uh, thermal paste from the factory. And there you go, 69 degrees on card number eight. So looks like the looks like the temperature is pretty even across the board. See if I can maximize this a little bit so we can see all of them at once. Yeah, there we go. So you can see all the current card temps. Now remember, this is an 112 degree heat uh, inside that shed right now. Um, I know a lot of guys, um, you know, the fan, the fan speed is up there. That's about the norm. I run pretty f high fan speed due to the fact that these cars are outside, uh, and I would rather lose a fan than the GPU. But 68, 70, 75% fan. There's guys that do that in their in their homes in an air conditioning environment. But as I said again, there is no air conditioning in this building. It's straight ambient air that's piped in from the outside. Um, so hopefully we won't get a whole lot hotter here in the state of Texas. Uh, but I did want to give a update uh, and show people uh, that had some questions about middle of the summer what was going to come up did i need to put ac in i had other guys that said airflow uh and it looks like we're gonna have to default to the guys that said airflow is the most important thing if you can just get the heat away from the cards that's the most important thing just getting that hot air away from the cards so it doesn't recirc uh, if it does recirculate uh, that's generally when you have heating issues, like going back to the example of the 1070 that's in a case, a closed case, it's in a lot cooler environment, like 40 degree ambient temp difference, uh, and it's only 5 to 6 degrees Celsius less than uh, what these, these cards are experiencing uh, in a 40 degree increase uh, Fahrenheit uh, environment. All right, guys, just a quick video update. Uh, just wanted to show you guys what was going on in the Vega farm. It's been a while since I did a video on that. Uh, if this is the first time to the channel and you like educational type material or how to's, anything like that, uh, please give me a subscribe, a like, and a share. Because remember, sharing is caring.